Alrighty, so we're going to move on to the physics. I think mostly people use physics for things like hair, but you can use it for pieces of clothing. In this case, I want to add a bit of physics to the, the jelly body itself. What I'm going to stick with is this. We only need one parameter. I think it doesn't really matter which one you choose out of these three, but I'm, going to, I'm just going to pick the middle one. We are going to highlight the main body deformer. We're going to make free deforms. Now ignore this message. I don't know why it happens, but it is what it is. It's fine. This will again be the default position for the physics where it starts and the physics here will be from the left and the physics here will be from the right. Now a thing to bear in mind when making physics is that you're going to have to do it for all the other points in the x and y angle for it to jiggle whichever way you move your head. So in this case, we're going to start with the movement on the left. I want the jelly to slightly move like that. Like that. And then do it the opposite direction. I'm gonna move the jelly like that. Move this back a little bit and move this back as well. Try and keep it consistent. You may need to do a few edits for it to flow well. do really. We're going to have to, from scratch, make the wibble again on this keyform. So you can see how long that can take. So what I'm going to do is speed up the process so you don't have to see it. You've seen the first part so just literally do the same thing again only do it for the other angle in the X and Y parameter. So to mix things up a little bit with the up and down motion, I kind of like the idea of the jelly kind of bouncing a little bit up and down. So this one will be a little bit more uh, simpler than the other. So I think what I'll try and do here is with the left side, I'm going to bring it down a bit. And then the next part on the right, it will go up a bit. So it should bounce up and down. In fact, to, get, to add a little bit more jiggle to it, we've lowered it on the left side of this keyform here. I'm going to bring it to the left a little bit. And then on this side, we're going to bring it to the right a little bit. So far, I have some jiggly physics for the up and down and left and right motions. Let's get into the physics and see if we can make this work. So you go up to the toolbar and you pick Open Physics Scene Blending Settings. Now let's just delete this so that we can start fresh. Add. Name this however you want, call it Jelly Physics. I don't think it really matters what you pick here, but if you wanted to pick a physics preset, feel free. I'm going to pick the long hair for now and we can edit it later. So as you can see, there is no physics yet. I'm going to go into the output settings 
and add air move side. So again, there is nothing here yet. So we have to input exactly which angle or parameters we want it to move with. We're going to pick angle X, angle Y and angle Z. Not that we really are using Z, but these are the main ones that are being moved with our head in face rig. So we're going to go with that. Change this to about 60 or 40 in this case. So I'm hoping, yeah, finally we've got some physics. So as you can see, there is some movement going on. In fact, I think what I'll do is, is see what happens if I were to delete this one here, because we're not actually using this. As you can see, there was a little wiggle there. Uh, so these settings here is really what the physics is all about. What you're seeing here is the pendulum that implies really the what the physics would do and its weight and how light it is. And this can be changed through these settings here. So you can increase the duration and effectively make this longer. You can also make it shorter. Yeah, personally I feel like that maybe there's just not enough movement. So at this point it's probably worth checking to see if you have applied equal movement to all the keyforms here. I think I understand what's going on here. I'm, I'm sorry to say, but you're going to have to do it for the breathing as well. So you're going to have to literally do everything that you just done here in in the other breathing keyform here. So yeah, as you can see, I had to do a lot of trial and error to figure out how the physics works in this uh, particular <laughs> video and such. Hopefully I could be able to explain exactly what I was having issue with and why it wasn't moving as much as I would like. Uh, this is something that I really wanted to troubleshoot for a really long time because I just couldn't understand why the physics were always so stationary like the only time that i could get any kind of physics working with whether it's the jelly in this case or hair in other face rigs usually i can get it working from side to side but not any other direction now it turns out that you not only have to do the left side of the jiggle in this case and the right side of the jiggle basically you have to do the same for the rest of the x and y parameters so you have to do the same thing on every angle and then you have to also do it again on the breathing parameters as well which is a real pain so you're having to literally make the movements on the x and y parameters as well as the breathing keyform parameters if that makes sense it's obviously set to the default uh, which is on the left side the left key form of breathing so you also have to input it again on the right side of the breathing it's it's really quite complicated and a real pain to do because it does take a long time and uh yeah that's really how it goes it's a really it, it's a long process i didn't realize it was going to take so long to do but on the other hand it can be pretty worth it to just add a little bit more movement to your face rig by simply moving your head you can make a jelly character like mine jiggle a little bit more. So yeah I hope that it has been helpful watching these videos hopefully you got a general uh, idea of how it all works maybe in future videos I'll actually redo 
certain segments again so we can kind of get a, a better more simpler uh, example of how these things work but I do hope to also make more elaborate ones like I still really like the idea of giving you a tutorial on how to do an actual anime eye or a normal eye ball for a character and on top of it be able to create more advanced mouth expressions and mouth shapes for speaking. Those are at least two that I'd like to dabble into eventually. With that we are going to move on to face rig as a software. This, will, this shouldn't take too long to dabble into the settings of face rig and how it works and also the process of exporting this face rig so it works with face rig in the first place. Hope to see you all then guys and again thank you so much for just being here and supporting the, the channel by watching this video. I hope it has been helpful for anyone wanting to get into live 2D and like I say there will be more to come in the future. With that if you like the video please like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of content in the future and let me know if there is any questions that you would like me to answer at all and I'll do my best to answer them. In the meantime guys Thank you all so much for watching and take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye bye.